Let's look at the monetary policy. Monetary policy is about regulating money demand and money supply. Yeah. During the year 2017-2018, Bank of Uganda continued to use the inflation targeting light, which is ITL, monetary po policy framework to maintain price stability by targeting a core inflation target of 5% in the medium term. So they wanted to reduce inflation to 5% by using the inflation targeting light monetary policy. During the implementation of this framework, Bank of Uganda sets a central bank rate on a bi-monthly basis and uses several instruments to get the 7-day interbank money. 7-day rate will influence the outcome of all other rates along the interest rate horizon. These instruments include the repurchase they they repurchase things from the public in order for them to redistribute money in case money is a uh, is little in the economy they can repurchase things and they give money to the public yeah, to increase money in circulation reverse re re repurchase agreement deposit auctions as well as issuance of government securities they, they, they can also issue government securities to the public. Once they issue government securities to the public, people come and buy. And when pe people buy, they are bringing money to the central bank. And when they bring money, they are withdrawing money from the economy. They are reducing on the amount of money in circulation. Yeah, so it was the inflation target light. They used the seven-day rate and it, it had instruments like repurchase, reverse repurchase agreement, deposit auctions, as well as issuance of government securities in secondary markets. Bank of Uganda has pursued an accommodative mon monetary policy since the financial 2017-2018 in a bid to boost private sector credit growth and strengthen economic growth momentum, even as, even as Annual core inflation was forecast to trend below the medium term target of 5%. The central bank rate was progressively reduced from 11% in May 2017 to 9% by April 2019. So the bank rate was also reduced. And the bank rate can, can only be reduced in order for them to increase the amount of money in circulation. So it was it was re reduced from 11% to 9%. Bank of Uganda will remain committed to ensuring that inflation is stable and close to the medium term target of 5% to support economic growth. Bank of Uganda will adopt a sustained, a suitable monetary policy thanks to changing economic, domestic and external developments in order to achieve stable inflation. So everything that Bank of Uganda does Every monetary policy that it comes up with, it is uh, it is to achieve a stable economy, yeah, especially stable inflation, because in inflation disorganizes everything else. So let's look at the aims of Uganda's monetary policy. Its main aim is maintaining inflation at a single digit, which is five percent. Then maintaining a favorable interest rate, maintaining an economically viable exchange rate, then providing private sector credit when they can be able to lend the private sector. So those are the four main aims of Uganda's monetary policy. Maintaining inflation at a single digit, maintaining a favorable interest rate, maintaining an economically viable exchange rate, and lastly, providing private sector credit 